How do I say goodbye to what we had? The good times. We should, should we do a slideshow? My snaps were really bad. That was a heart. I, you couldn't even hear mine. Do you know it's it's your thumb? It's your finger hitting your, this part. It's not your, it's, your your thumb does really nothing. It just gets this to. I was struggling. I make don't know why. Yeah. Um, that was an, an, an in memoriam to... <laughs> we really should do a slideshow. That would be hilarious. To the man bun, to the long hair. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, for those of you tuning in are har- shocked and horrified. They're saying, who is this? Lesbian. Let's face it, lesbian. I look like a lesbian. <laughs> I went from gay Italian Jesus to gay Italian Ellen. I kind of look like Kris Jenner. Wouldn't that be... Um... Oh, gay. oh, oh, yeah, gay, gay Ellen. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's like I would uh, just be Italian Ellen. Yeah, I'm a, t- I'm, I'm, I'm what's, guy Italian Ellen. What's the word I'm looking for? Oxymoron? No, uh, no. Oh no, no, no. Um, oh fuck. Oh, oh, double something. Look who can help me now. No, okay, I'll get it. I'll get it. It is a redundant. Redundant. Uh, like, oh, like it's ATM redundant. machine. Exactly. Yes. It's redundant because um, Ellen is gay. So you, to say gay correct. Ellen, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. Gay Italian Ellen. I uh, I cut my hair off. R.I.P. And to some people, it, it was my identity. Mm-hmm. And I apologize if that's if 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 you're horrified right now and you're looking at this. I think I'm still cute though. Am I not cute? I think you look gorgeous. Um, but yeah, it was a big decision. A lot of you knew it was coming. I talked about it on, on Dress Down Day before. And uh, it's a big deal to me. It was mm-hmm. a very big deal. I just I don't really want to talk too much about it, but I do want to just address it for a moment because I think a lot that's how a lot of people knew me as like the guy with long hair. Mm-hmm. And it was a big deal. I just really, as as a lot of people know, I really wanted to. I didn't love the way it looked in a tuxedo, mm-hmm. and I wanted to look a little more dashing. Dashing for our Jennifer. wedding, and yeah. I also wanted to cut it a little bit before I went. We're getting married in October, and I wanted to get used to it. I wanted to have a good amount of videos online with shorter hair. I wanted people to get used to this look. Mm-hmm. It's not a big deal, but it also is. Yeah, I you, like it. I didn't ju- want it to be. It's just hair, uh-huh. but at the same time, you chopped it all off. That is that <laughs> is a pretty big deal. Yeah, but I I don't think. Uh, I, don't I made think, a mistake. I don't think your hair defined you in any way. I didn't and want it to. I think most people who probably listen to this knew you before the man bun. You think so? I think so. I had this when the man when the pot when I had the man bun. I know, the, but I feel like people who li- who who listen who to this me. probably have been following you for a long time. That might be silly to say. Let me know if Maybe. I'm wrong. But so so it's not. I feel like for those people, it's not as big of a a deal because they've seen you with a many haircut. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, and yeah. it's, it's going to grow back if you want it to. Here's it's the thing. It's not that big of a deal. Here's the thing. Because uh, it, 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 it is a big deal to me. And I didn't, I didn't know how much of a big deal it would be for everyone else. Like I always say, it's not a big deal. Whatever. No one's thinking about you as much as you're thinking about yourself. Mm-hmm. And then I told people I was cutting it. And they were like, <gasps> Nothing will be the same again. What is life? I you should see my inbox of mm-hmm. women that just no. I want to see it. Which gotta say, not necessary. You, you, you did it doesn't it, make did, you feel good. It doesn't make you feel better yeah, about it. What 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 was their intention? What what was their intent? Why were they? Why were why did they do that? You can't go back. Why did so they don't say know. don't no? People love this. To is do bad. That. People love. I to do that. don't. I'm not happy with this. Like, I'm already in a relationship. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you're getting out of that. Yeah. Besides you liking me with, I don't fucking know. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, it was a big decision, and I, I'm. Here's the thing, too, folks. If you really hate me with shorter hair, I'm growing it back. I'm growing it back. You just did it for the wedding. The wedding and the special, really. I mean, mm-hmm. that was a big because I was thinking like, okay, if I cut it for the wedding. I'm going to not have long hair for the special. Yeah. And I didn't – if we sell this to Netflix, if we sell it to Hulu or H, whatever, or even if it's on YouTube and it's the first thing I'm introduced to the world as and, and I want it to be a great thing, I don't want it to be like the kid with the man bun. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like that does – I don't want that to, to define me. I love long hair. I also started to realize I'm never 
for the rest of my life, probably ever going to have like short hair. I just feel like a long hair guy. Don't you feel like it fit me very well? Very well. And so I was like, this is kind of my last chance to do something fun and exciting. Mm-hmm. Something you haven't really done before. You haven't what? really done this haircut before. According to Matt, I always look like this. That's what he said when I sent the picture. What? Um, no. no. I, I was going for like an Uncle Jesse, you know, mm-hmm. uh, sli- I don't know. 90s I just, heartthrob. I wanted, to, I wanted to enjoy. I really miss wearing hats. Mm-hmm. It was just like a break. I think this is a good time to do it. I think yeah. you will like the way you look better in pictures for our wedding. Yeah. Which, again, isn't like a big deal. But, you know, when you look back on things, especially something like that, you want to like how you look. Yeah. And I think with the bun, you would have had a hard time. You probably wouldn't have regretted it that much at the end of the much. day. But – now you'll like it. I think it works better with the tux. I think it works better with the the special. When I came home yesterday and I did my hair mm-hmm. and you saw me, I put on a suit. Gorgeous. Did you not, did your, did your labia not fall out of your be- your purse? <laughs> my purse? <laughs> I don't keep it in my purse, so no. Your naughty but purse. <laughs> um, I, th- I do think you might have a harder time with this haircut. Because you now mean? you're like extra gorgeous. Oh, that's sweet of you, honey. Seriously. Um, like the man bun made you look a little bit weird. And I feel like like I feel like this haircut might make you a little more intimidating than you were before. As a comedian. If possible. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. But so I just want to say thank you to everybody who uh, made me feel horrible about it and told me that it was the, a bad decision. Thank you for that. Thank you for those who are um, supportive. I love you all. It's coming back. By next summer, I'm going to have long hair again. I just, I was excited for a change. I I was thinking about it a lot and I didn't know if I should do it or not. And then I just said, fuck it. I do want you to be a long haired dad. Like bun dad? Yeah. This looks more like a dad to me. Like a, like a sexy dad. It, so, well, it depends what you want to be. Do you want to be sexy dad or do you want to be like cool dad? Well, it depends. And I feel like. I want all the, I want all the PTA moms to want to fuck me. I want that for sure. Long hair is very youthful, so I think that might make There's them something very, want there to. There was something very animalistic about how I looked, too. You looked extremely primal. I looked like Tarzan. Yeah. So maybe you I were mean, definitely my Tarzan. But I never wore it down. I never no. wore it down. Which you should have. And if you want to watch my haircut, I actually okay. So let me try, let me tell the story really quick because it was a big deal. I I couldn't just go to a barber. I. Went to this guy. His name is Steven out in Jersey. Shout out to Steven, the salon guy on YouTube. Huge YouTuber. Has a million subscribers. I've actually known about him for a long time because I've always been insane about my hair. I've always been vain. Not proud of it. Hair is a very big deal. I gotta in say, real life. I gotta say, this is gonna sound horrible, but I want to be honest and open to the world. How do I say this? <laughs> oh God, <laughs> what? I'm not saying I feel this way about myself, Mm -hmm. but society has always told me I was attractive. Yeah. I would have to agree with that. The girls in my life have always told me I was attractive. Mm -hmm. Um, There was the I Love Eric Club. We can't forget about the I Love Eric Club. I want to have that written on my tombstone. Uh, There was in the... Third or fourth grade. Okay. Was, what, I think I told it already, what, but what, just, what people boy, were like, what's the other What if club? boy didn't have a club uh, uh, that girls loved him? Like, come on. Huh? Of course, there were plenty, but I'm sure there was a I love Joe Esposito club too. Like, I don't think so. It's not that big of a deal. I don't think Joe Esposito was that special. <laughs> um, so what I mean by that is there is some sort of a downside to that because you, you equate your value to the world as your looks. You take away my looks, I've got nothing. Well, that's true. It's a real thing. That's true. It is a real thing. And I, I started to feel like that way with, with the long hair. Like if, 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 if I need this for, for, people, for people to find me valuable, mm-hmm. I got to get rid of it and see what happens from it. Like mm-hmm. that was a big piece of it too. Um, so I forgot why I brought that up. But I, it, was a, it was a bit – oh, oh. I've always been insane about my hair. So I would always like look at YouTube tutorials for like guys' hairs for like inspiration to bring to my barber and shit. And so I, went, I hit up this guy, Steven, and I said, hey, man, I, this is a big deal for me, uh, and I think we can make a YouTube video out of it. And he said, sure. So we go, to, we go there in Jersey. You can watch it online. Uh, and 
it was a big deal for me. We, there was two huge ponytails that he cut. He said I had really thick hair. I've always known I had thick yeah. hair, but then when a when a, uh, a guy who's been doing hair for thirty years says this is the thickest hair I've ever touched, it's a little interesting. <laughs> uh, so I felt was like uh, maybe I shouldn't be getting rid of this, but um, yeah, it was a very crazy thing. And we get back home to Austin, and I freaked out. I freaked out. Yeah. This is the this this is I'm Eric Del Sandro, and this is my story. So I loved it in Jersey, and I said to him to Stephen, he doesn't cut hair anymore. He doesn't take on clients. He just he has products. He has hair products, which are fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. I'm not just saying that because we're friends with him now. Truthfully, he has a great sea salt spray yeah. that oh, you yeah. used. No, yeah. Check the out the salon are really guy. Nice. Um, so he cut my hair. I showed him like kind of reference pictures from like when I was growing it out. I was like, I liked it at this stage. And then I put my hands through it, and I'm like, Are we gonna go shorter? And he was like, Um, he was like, Oh, um, we could. And then Leanna was like, No, I think that's good. So in that moment, it looks it looks beautiful to me. In, in that, that moment, moment, I was like, oh shit, I shouldn't. They're both like saying, no, don't freak out, just go with it. But I did feel like, oh god, look at this. I did feel like it should be a little shorter, mm-hmm. and I was freaking out a little bit. And uh, it's not, not not his fault at all. I should have told him I want to go shorter. He was mm-hmm. like, oh, it looks great. Leanna said it looked great. I'm like, all right, let's just leave, whatever. So we get back to Austin. It starts to sink in a little bit, and I'm like. I'm kind of freaking out over here. I started to really freak out. I started like having an anxiety attack. And Mm. I was like, I grew it out. I've always wanted long hair. I had it. It This this was really like your worst nightmare. Yeah. Regretting cutting it. Yeah. Because that was, I was afraid of that. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't think I'm going to regret it. I don't think I'm going to regret it. I don't think I'm going to regret it. And then I'm sitting on the couch and I started to regret it. Mm -hmm. I started to like, literally stop. I started to freak the fuck out. And I was like, fuck, I made a mistake. So... Like I said, I'm you know we're back in Austin and Stephen doesn't really take on clients. We did the video already. I was like, I can't hit him up and be like, can we cut it shorter? I feel like oh, these guys think I'm this guy's gonna think I'm insane, which I am. Yes. So I told Leanne, I'm like, I gotta find, I gotta find someone here. I gotta find someone in Austin. And finding a good hairstylist for a guy is not an easy thing to do. No. Is it easy for a girl to find a hairstylist? Um. There's obviously a lot more options for women. Mm. Um, I I don't. It's no. It's definitely. I, I think it's probably fairly easy for me at least. I don't do mm. anything crazy. I do very simple haircuts. Yeah. I, my hair's brown. I don't do anything co- any crazy coloring. One so brown yes. cut, please. Exactly. You for uh, uh, to find someone who cuts men's hair with scissors is very hard. Because usually guys go to a barber yeah. and they use clippers or A lot whatever. of barbers, I love barbers. I have I have friends that are barbers. They're incredibly talented. This is not a knock at them. It's just two different things. One does one thing, one does the other. It's like Tesla exactly. versus Ford. One's an electric motor, one's a traditional engine. They're not good mm-hmm. or bad. It's just different. So when, when most boys go to a barber, they just want to fade. They mm-hmm. want a high skin fade with a three on top. Yeah. Very easy. Very, very easy. Maybe they want to design. They don't use scissors. They don't do like feathering trimming and they don't they don't they don't they don't do point cuts and it's not like a sectioned off mm-hmm. very like meticulous salon thing. And I wanted that experience because I had a very specific vision and it was like I was growing it out for a long time. This is a big deal for me. So what I just did was I go to Google and I just start I'm I'm not proud of it. I was I guess it was bougie, but I just said the most expensive hair salon in Austin. <laughs> yeah. And I wanted to find the most high-end place. I wanted to get ripped off. Mm-hmm. I didn't give a fuck. And I was like, I need some, something perfect. Mm-hmm. And um, thank God I found someone. Mm-hmm. So yesterday, uh, was it yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday, found a guy here in Austin. And uh, I, I love it. I, I love it very much. It's exactly what I was envisioning. All my worries went away. I feel great about it. And uh, but but it, it was it was it was close to a disaster. I almost <gasps> oh god, that looked like it was. Falling. I almost I almost ruined my life. Um, I, I, ruins your life is a stretch I again. Don't know. I, I was I was. It's just hair. It's gonna grow back. It's we <laughs> can make it work. I want to um, see you chop your hair off and see how you feel. Say it's you, just hair. You sent me a picture yesterday. I've only cut my hair short, maybe twice in my life. When I was a lot younger. And my mom decided on my haircut. I had short hair. But as I got older, um, there was only two times, I think, where I cut my hair short. I 
regretted greatly mm. both of those times. You sent me a picture yesterday. I I I I saw myself as bald. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even kidding. I to me, I might as well be bald in that picture. We could show. I thought it. I was crazy. My hair is is probably to here, a little bit above my. It was boob. literally three inches shorter. No, it was never. Like, I no. could, any woman who no. thinks they look different with they're, they're fucking crazy because from here it was like ten to inches here shorter. Huh? It was like ten inches. Look at this. This is like ten inches. I don't, I don't, My hair is angled and layered now, so in certain areas. But I, I should have just been bold. I that that's exactly what I saw. So trust me, I get it. Um, what was I gonna say? I'm also known as that guy. Like so many people on my, because uh, I put on my Instagram story a picture of my hair cut, mm-hmm. and then the next picture was me like with my hair cut, and people were like freaking out. And I just want to say. Not necessary. You guys didn't have to do that. You know what though? It didn't when when Stephen, your first haircut, um, <laughs> your first haircut in forty eight hours. Yeah, your first haircut. It it didn't. It wasn't that big of a. It didn't feel because it was still long. It was still long enough to go in a to go in like a little ponytail, mm. but it wasn't long enough to get my 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 look back. Like I thought it was gonna be this huge thing, and we were gonna be like, oh my god, what happened? But it didn't. I wasn't phased by it. It was funny when I was in the chair yesterday, and even still now, because I mean you've known me for a while. Yeah, in the chair yesterday, what? He was cut in the mirror, and I was like, in the chair. Yes, I was horrified. You were scared. I was so scared. Why? First of all, he didn't use regular scissors. That's why I went to him. Didn't take out a pair of scissors once. That's why I went to him. Didn't say a word. He was very quiet. He didn't say a word the entire time, and he was taking out chunks he was also shaking of hair and he was shaking his <laughs> hands was shaking so i was like this guy is not confident in this haircut at all i i was i was trying to mentally prepare how to, for, how to take care of me exactly my breakdown exactly i was like this this, this really this, that's how you felt yes i was i was like what what am i gonna do i'm gonna have to take him to a mental institution or something he's gonna freak out no seriously i was really worried that you were gonna have an actual mental breakdown mm, i still might <laughs> i still might but thank god it worked out here's here's stereotyping ever heard of it yeah, he, yeah, I've heard of stereotyping. Here's where stereotyping is extremely helpful and necessary. Okay. We stereotyped Jace. Mm. Saw a picture of him. Oh yes, hundred uh, percent. Saw saw pictures of of his clients. I mean, I'm I i do not know if that's stereotyping. I feel like they were laying it on pretty thick of like who they are and who they want to yeah, be. Yeah, but but but. I could, you know, it's, it's, it's. It looked like Whole Foods made a, made a, made a hair salon. Yeah. It's like, okay, yeah. you could tell who this guy voted for. Yeah, of course. You, you know, you, you have a, a, a Although bit he, in he, your he, act. He was so into it. He might not even, he might, like, he was so out there and different. He, I could see him being like, I don't vote. Mm. That's how, like, you know. Nice. Uh, it like was that. a very high end salon. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I literally you know wanted to spend hundreds of dollars. Yeah. I, I wanted to feel like I was like going to the best. And obviously that can that doesn't always mean it's gonna be good. But yeah, they had everything checked the list. He was he was interesting looking. He was a little, you know, quote unquote as the norm would say, weird, even though I don't really consider him that weird. He had a tattoo here in this spot. A tattoo? I'm sorry. Or it was a pier oh, sorry, it was a piercing. Yeah. yeah in this I come thought. here. In this spot right here. Don't smile. I like to push in this area in Leanna's lip. What is it called? What is it? Is this called? Is this the nape? The Cupid's bow? <laughs> Let me, I want to push in more. You push. in. Don't smile. You have a night. You like I, my fingertip fits right in. I there. have a really indented one. What is it called? Oh, I like that. He pierced <laughs> it. He has that. He had it's that the piercing. Cupid's bow. He had tattoos. You know, he was super. Uh, Super artsy and weird, which is right up my alley. Mm-hmm. And I, uh, yeah, I, I definitely, I, I looked, if you looked too normal, I wasn't going to you. That's, that's a very good thing, babe. Like I, I, I find, like trying to find a. Um, the philtrum. <laughs> what? It's the philtrum. Philtrum. Phil or philtum? Philtrum. I like philtrum. I, I want to name our kid philtrum. 
I'm a Colin Phil for short. Uh, so yeah, it was it was a very nerve wracking thing, but I went with I went with uh, like the weirdest. I mean, I, I, weird might be bad too, but he had a great, great, uh, he, great, great Instagram. Yeah, I, I could just tell this guy was going to be good, and he was wonderful. You know, and here's another thing: if you so so like I said, the stereotyping is what helped us make the decision, and and it worked in our favor because we were right about it. Instagram, if, if, if you are a business, you've done a video on this, if you're a business and you don't have a good Instagram, a good website. Oh, my God. Your product is most likely caca. Pack it up. Pack right? it up. That's it. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to use you. I want to see your Instagram with photos of what your restaurant looks like, what the food looks like, whatever it is. Hairstylist. How are you going to be a hairstylist and not have an Instagram page? Let me ask you this. Go for it. I was wondering this because it's been a long time since I've found someone that I trusted with my hair. I had my guy on Staten Island forever. How do you do it? How do you do it? I'm supposed to just call up someone. I don't know what they work on. I don't know who they work on. I don't know what their work looks like. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go to you. Shouldn't you have exactly. some sort of portfolio that I can look at? Absolutely. Like, I don't think many people are that specific, but a lot of people have to be. Mm -hmm. Like, especially girls. Even like you, I'm always like, I mean, every girl has the same haircut. But like, what's specific to you is specific to you. And like, mm -hmm. how are you not, there's many people I couldn't find that. Yeah. I couldn't find like guys' hair that they've cut. Mm -hmm. It'd be like a lot of guys and a lot of girl haircuts. Like, that looks great for women. But like I can't really tell what he does, and I saw only a couple guys on his. But the girl hairs, the girl haircut that he did, mm -hmm. very interesting and different, yeah. very cool. At least he had the whole Instagram page dedicated to his work. Mm -hmm. Whereas, yeah, some people, it, if you don't have an Instagram page with your work, I bet you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, I think that those people probably don't get much business definitely they really don't because exactly how am i supposed to know what i'm walking into you have no portfolio to show me of of stuff that you've done it's like being in 1991 and not having your business in the yellow pages mm -hmm. that this is reality now like you especially if it's a if it's a service like that mm -hmm. like a pool guy is like that should definitely have an instagram before and after like oh look at this allergy look how clean i made it look Obviously, yep. everything. I'm just trying to say, like most people, like an exterminator, they just kind of you gotta kind of hope for the best. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, this guy kills bugs. I got bugs. Let's see what he can do. Yeah. But like, um, with hair, I couldn't find dick for a lot hair, of people. Hair, nails, makeup. It's, it's, it's not an easy thing to do. It's not an easy thing to find a good hairstylist as a, as a guy. I mean, I will say there are, you know, if the business itself has an Instagram, so say that salon had an Instagram. They probably do. They know. probably do. Um, and you see a couple people and they're really good or it is a higher end thing where you're, you know, mm. you're paying $200 for a haircut. Yep. Then it's like, I probably could go to anyone because their hiring process is probably intense. They shouldn't put their name on someone who can't handle. Yes, yeah. exactly. That's true. But if you go to any regular salon where it's like, oh, the haircut's $60, like kind of everywhere else, and I'm going to go to some random person who doesn't have an, a good page showing me their work, yeah. then you're taking a bigger risk for there, sure. There's a lot more art in it than I think people understand. Oh, yeah. You have to be a great artist. What's funny is... Um, a guy that used to cut my hair in Staten Island, he was a great artist. Mm -hmm. he, would, he could draw very well. Mm -hmm. And he's a really good barber. That makes sense. There's got to be some sort of connection between the two. It is an art. Mm -hmm. it, has to, it is a feel in the way he was doing it. I specifically, I've seen that style before. So he got, he had a straight edge razor like he was going to shave your face and he was chopping my hair like that. He was thinning it and cutting it at the same time. Yeah. And you've never seen that before? No. So I've seen that crazy. before but I've never gone to a place that had someone to do that. Mm -hmm. It's always just guys with clippers and Jordans. Yeah. Not really like, which is, it is what it is. But like mm -hmm. for me, I've always wanted to be a little different. Um, so I've seen that before and I saw that that was his style and I'm like, oh, fuck that. I'm, this this guy's probably going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. And he was great. I'm sorry. I don't, I'm, I don't know if this is boring for people, but I just needed to, uh, it, was, it was a big deal for me. I did want to address it. And um, if you loved long hair, Eric, he's, he's coming back. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to uh, switch it up for a little while. Summer 2023? Yeah. I mean, probably before. My hair grows so fucking fast. You know what I was thinking? 
So even though I just said I cut my hair short a couple times and I hated it, I've been thinking after the wedding, I want to cut my hair. How'd you feel after you saw that photo? I feel like I didn't want to. But now I'm also thinking it would be fun if we grew our hair out together. If I like waited for you to get to your shoulders or something, I cut mine and then we grew it together. <laughs> Even though yours would definitely grow so much faster than mine. And then I'd probably be upset just like when we work out and you get abs in three days. And it <laughs> takes me three years. Um, yeah. I mean, are you going to go that fucking short? I did. I wanted to do short. Like shoulder length? Yeah. Go for it. I would probably hate it though. And then what do I do? And then I make fun of you for being crazy. Oh, you're crazy. It's just hair. Fuck you, bro. All the nice things you said to mm-hmm. me. I don't know. Anyway, do you think people could see how hairy my legs are? Let me see. No. Okay. Not good. from that far. I Sorry mean, about that. She's a hairy woman walking down the street. And um, I try. I, I, I'll just look at Leanna sometimes. I'm like, you know, some girls shave their armpits, right? Not all of them, but some of them do. Here's my. Are you French? My armpits, the hair goes back in a day. It sucks that you have to do that. I'm not going to lie. Exactly. I have to do it every single day. And it's annoying. And sometimes it's not enough hair to really shave. It's just, it's extremely inconvenient. I don't, sometimes I just, I don't have the patience. I just let it grow. It's not fair. I'm going, and I'm, you know what? I'm going for a look. All right. What do we? What do I do if you completely change after we get married? <laughs> I just like totally let myself grow, and I'm just like a hairy beast. And your legs, your I armpits. Smell and I. What do I? What, that's not like that. Should we should get a prenup that says I promise to look the same? I don't think guys should just fucking let. I'm, I don't think I should gain eighty pounds when we yeah. get married and just drink until I have a giant gut. I don't think that's okay either. I wonder if you'll. But ever women aren't. Be, yeah. Women are as, aren't as affected. Like women, I don't what do think. What you mean? Women don't care if their guy looks like a fucking piece of shit slob. They don't mind. <laughs> I don't know why they. That's true. They don't have well, high enough standards. Mean? Because we love you. We don't love you for how you look. That of course that that's. But like, a don't nice you want to look? Plus, don't you want to look good for your? For your hus? Yeah. Or your wife. <laughs> don't you want to like keep the romance d- going? Well, I, Instead of just like, it's not, Ugh. it's not, it shouldn't be, that's like surface level. Shouldn't be surface level. You should be, I should be able to, to grow a big gut and you should still love me, don't you so think? So you saw me at DJ's and thought, I like who he is as a person. <laughs> no. Or did I have my tan not. going and did I look gorgeous? Of course not. Underneath that dance floor light that started us that's important chatting that's important i don't give a fuck what anybody says that's important it's definitely important at first because if you're not physically attracted to the person then what's the even though you should always try to keep that going how do you feel about this i object have you ever heard of friends who maybe maybe say we were friends originally I don't want to be your friend. And I'm not physically attracted to you. Impossible. But I like your personality. Like, we get along. We have fun together. I'm sorry. I'm coming off really vain in this this episode. (laughs) And then all of a sudden, we start dating. I don't believe that. But that happens. Does it? Or does it happen in romantic comedies where real life doesn't exist? No, I think it happens in real life. I'm sure it has. Maybe a listener can tell us if that's happened to you. I've never seen it. And... Do you like doing that, pulling the microphone so this thing tilts? Well, I keep moving, so I have to change um, I don't know if that happens in real life. Somebody has to have had a crush. How can that, how can that happen? I'm not saying, I'm not saying that neither. How could your, cha- how could your feelings for me, cha- how could you all of a sudden want to start making love to me? I'm not saying that neither parties are not, like, feel more than just friends right so say you could be in love with me but i i'm not attracted to you i just see you on a friend level but then for some reason it grows i guess it has to be because you're because i love your personality so much that turns into me being physically attracted to you it's a nice story 
I don't know. I don't know anyone that that's happened to. It has to have happened. It has. But I feel like that's that shit that like happens in in remember in Friends when Monica's dating Pete. He was the uh, um, like the UFC fighter. Yeah. John Favreau. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she's like, "I'm sorry, I was not attracted." And then he kisses her, and she's like, "Wait a minute, I felt something." I don't believe that. Um, I could see it happening. I'm sure. Listen, I'm sure it's happened. I'm sure there's people watching this or listening to this that maybe they started dating a friend. But I just, I don't know. I feel like uh, the I feel like a lot of attraction is very initial, mm. and uh, it depends how long you were friends for. Like if if okay if it's like okay let's say um. Let's say there's like a group of friends. Mm-hmm. You have a group of friends. I have a group of friends, and like our our friends are dating. We come around. We're seeing each other a little bit, and then we're friendly. Yeah. And then you, but you have a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And then you break up. Mm-hmm. And then we get together. That's how I see it happening. I don't know if like we could hang out alone and do go to the movies and nothing ever sparks up like I, I i'm more talking about like the friends that are friends for like five years that's what i'm and talking are about. really really close that's what i'm talking about you think it doesn't exist i don't know i'm mm-hmm. sure it's happens because you can't say nothing and, and nothing's like finite of course in the end and like it's, it's something is always possible yeah but in terms of that i don't know all right i was just curious i mean i'm just, listen i'm an idiot mm, yeah. i just i never believe it mm-hmm. because it's always like uh it sounds like a movie. It sounds like a TV show. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I have just seen it in movies. But I feel, like you said, some, some like it, it's always had to have been done before, I feel like. I'm trying to think of any girls that I'm friends with right now. That, yeah. It's it's always like, it's always this situation. Like, they're, they're, all right, let's say there's a girl that I'm friends with now. And you and I are friendly with. In the back of my mind, it's like, oh, I'd fuck the shit out of her mm-hmm. if, you know, X, Y, Z. Or there's maybe guy friends that I have. You're like, oh, I would sleep with him if I wasn't with Eric. Mm-hmm. But the that's kind of like always, that's like a known thing. Mm-hmm. Whereas when, if you're single and I'm single and we're hanging out, going to the movies, all this shit, and then neither of us or one, you don't feel anything, what would change? I don't know. I think just like hanging out with that person more and – Liking them, just, I don't know, loving their personality so much that makes you start to be physically attracted to them. Hmm. I'm sure, sh- listen, I'm sure, I'm sure it, it, it happens. Yeah. I just, uh, I'm very vain. We always say this. I guess I'm Mr. Vain. You are Mr. Vain. And I'm sure we've said on the podcast before, but it would be so interesting to be single. Nowadays, how do you how do you meet someone? I feel like you and I were single in the nineteen twenties. <laughs> That's how long ago. I we just missed Tinder. I know. We ju- the, wow. literally we the door we just missed it. That would have been I don't even know. That would have been so much fun. It would have been fun, but I think I would have gotten herpes. I think I would have gotten chlamydia. Well, that's you because you're a disgusting animal pig. I'm just saying, it, it would have been it would have been fun. Like like a like a like it a buffet line. It would have been fun line. to get herpes. That wouldn't have been fun, but the you know the act of like, man, she's really hot. You know what? Who needs a condom? You know. <laughs> You're garbage. You're absolute trash. I don't know where you came from. I um, have about what sixty days to get out of it. Still, you can get out of it. Oh, but then I'll sue you because my hair was basically for that. I destroyed my image for you, mm. so I will sue. <laughs> Um, anyway, did we ever talk about, um, our guests? I don't think we talked about... I don't think we did. Our guests. We had a wonderful time with our guests, and we did something that I wanted to mention on the podcast. We found a really cool bowling alley, Dave and Buster's type place. Mm -hmm. And it made me think of bowling in general. Okay. Okay. Love bowling. We love we love bowling. Yeah, love rolling and, that rock. Um, bowling is it? Bowling is one of those things that like, no matter who you go bowling with, it's the same group of people. There's always like the one person in the group that's really really good at bowling, 
Okay. There's always a girl who's bowling a, a 12 every game. She just throws it and doesn't really want to be there. Yeah. There's the kid, there's the guy who's trying to be funny mm-hmm. and acts like, I'm not really trying, even though he kind of sucks at bowling. You're looking at him. Yeah. Um, And it, it's always a great time. Mm-hmm. Do you know, I don't know. Okay, so what I'm, what I'm trying to, I was thinking of this when we were bowling, because we, we go more often than the, the average person, but like, that's like something that I'm so happy is still around. Yeah. As a thing. I hope it never goes away. You know what? Why is that the only sport that people get together and and, and do together? As like you, a night out? Yeah. They have top golf. That's a lot of fun. That's a newer thing. That's a lot of fun. Bowling's been around since... since the 50s. Yeah. I would, I would say <laughs> BC. I have no idea. Let's see. BC. But... You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you and your friends don't get together and play a baseball game or play a football. Play maybe a football. Bas- maybe basketball. But how? What? How and why did bowling catch on as as a fun activity really quickly, for you and your friends? The earliest forms of bowling bait, uh, bait date back to ancient Egypt. See what I say? BC. The wall drawings depict being found in a royal Egyptian tomb dated to 5200 BC. What did I say? Did I not say BC? Your girl knows her bowling. Babe, this is 5,000 years before Jesus. Of course. (laughs) What do you mean? What do you need? You need a couple of rocks? Jesus probably had that hook. Oh, definitely. Jesus was definitely a really good bowler. Definitely. Um, And he probably, and he had a great team. Yeah. The apostles or disciples or whatever. I don't know. They got a good 12 going. Yeah. Them versus the Pontius Pilate team? Uh-huh. Probably, probably a fun day. Yeah. You know, who do you Jesus is like, who do you think you are? I am. Yeah. You seen that clip of that guy screaming? No. You're very uncultured. Anyway, um, yeah. I, I, it, yeah, I don't know why, because it, it's, it's, it's not a lot of energy. You just step up, you drink a beer, you throw it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a great time. I would love to meet someone who doesn't like to bowl. Do you think that person exists? Yeah, of course. I don't know who, because I don't hang out with losers, but... <laughs> There's definitely like, I don't want to put it on a girl, but it's probably a girl that's like. Yeah, I guess you're right. I, I don't want to do right. that. Yeah, I guess you're you right. know. It's so much fun though. It really is. This, it's just a great time. It's a great time. We when we were living in California, Lucky Strike. Uh, I'm sure many people have heard of. It's almost like a chain at this yeah, point, they are. right? And on Monday nights, they would have free bowling if you were in the hospitality industry, or if you were in SAG, which I was. Yes, and we would go. We would go often on a Monday night. Incredible. Do a little free bowling. It was so much fun. I never got any better. You have better. a beer. You just you chill with your friends. I mean, it really is a great time. Isn't that interesting? What? We've been bowling a lot. Yeah. I've never gotten any better. That's kind of scary. It's not. I'm we, not improving. We don't do it at all. It's we don't do it. We're not very uh pers- cr- cons- huh? huh consistent. Should we go tonight? Nah, yeah. Okay, you, I want to meet someone who's like to go bowling. You want to go tonight? <laughs> eh. I got a lot to do tonight. Sorry. So there so you go. Not- oh, should we show our invitations? Sure. You want it? Did we talk Only about because- them last week? We talked about them, but I wanted to show the D that I made. With the, with the ink. Do we have one of them? Not no, here. I don't have one. All right. I guess that we're not going to see anything. That's it. Um, so also, there's a thing at, at that bowling place I wanted to mention. Uh, there was like a Dave and Buster's attached to it, which, by the way, always looks more fun than it actually is. Cause Very I, good point. Because I was like, Very I was like yo, this is awesome. We'll, we'll get some beers. We'll bowl. We'll go play some games. After we bowled, oh, yo, let's go check out the games. I was like, oh, I don't want to play any of these. It didn't yeah. look – it was like – it would have been fun for a minute. Yeah. Um, I mean, how how long could you really play arcade games for anyway? The idea on paper a lot more it's, fun. It does. It sounds a lot more fun. I would I would never jump at the offer of going to an arcade. I would never. Yeah. And 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 I definitely like to dabble in a video game or two, but <laughs> I'm not going out of my way to go to an arcade. Definitely not. No, it's got to be there. And one of the things I realized, I actually was going to play a game. And then it made you get tokens or whatever. The, oh, it made you buy one of those cards. Yes. Yeah, like so the Dave and Buster's card. cards. Yeah. Which made me think, again, like like it's it's 2022. What were we just talking about before? That's like, let's enter the 21st century. 
We mentioned it with something that mm. somebody's not like, you know, oh, not being Instagram. on in, not being on Instagram if mm. you're a business owner. They have the tap to pay everywhere. Yeah. Why can't I take out my credit card? Oh, you want to play bumper cars, honey? Beep. And it charges me three dollars, whatever the fuck it is. That would be so much better than having to go buy a ticket. I guess that's how they get you though, because they know you're gonna buy more than you need. And I have I have Dave and Buster's things mm, in my drawer in there. Left over. I got a hundred thousand uh, <laughs> points on there. I'm never gonna use them. Exactly. And they know. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, well, there yeah. you go. I just found out why. You cracked the code. Cock talking. They anything anything. Any way they could fuck you. Anyway. They gotta fuck you, Lee. Anything, any way, any who, any how. Any they're who? trying to get. They're always trying to get one over on us. Always. always. Um, the bowling was a lot of fun with our friends. We also did. So um, this is your chance to go. If you if you need something to do, go roll that rock. Yeah. Anyway, what, what were you saying? And a lot of the times too, they have nice food. Whether it's pizza, not, bar and grill. Not all the time. There are some places that are stuck in the fucking seventies, which I do like. But you know. What and they don't have food? And they're just like gross. Yeah, that place well, was gorgeous. Like, it was called Pin Stack. Nice, you remembered. Gorgeous. Yeah. Fucking I mean, gorgeous. even if they have, I'm, I'm not saying you're going to get a filet mignon, <laughs> but you can get- A couple of wings. Yeah, yeah, it's like you go into the CYO Center. That's what, you're, that's what you should expect when you go to a bowling alley. I don't know if people know what that is. It's a very uh, Staten a community, Island thing. You know, a community center for children <laughs> where they have hot dogs and hamburgers and chicken fingers. Um, <laughs> we also did, which our friends had found, and she was like, I definitely want to do this when we come. It's a, what would you call it? A lazy river. A lazy river tubing. A, la- a lazy tubing river ride tubing fun. ride. Fun. fun. <laughs> and so what you do is... You drive to this place in Austin, you get on a bus, and the bus brings you to this river like a half hour away, you get on a tube, and you just, you cruise down the river. Cruising. For like three hours or whatever it is, and then they take you home. And you could bring drinks, you could bring snacks, because they give you a separate tube just for your... Your food and Alcohol drink. Alcohol consumption, yeah. your drinks, your snacks, your whatever. Which is, it, I mean, it's fun. You're on the on the thing for three hours. Obviously, you're going to want a little snacky mm-hmm. and a little drinky. So we, um, I don't know if this is boring for the listeners, but it was it was a no. very it was a very fun time. Very if if you're in Austin, that's definitely something. Yeah, fun to it's do. like a nice Austin. Te- it's like a nice Texas thing to do. I don't know if they have this everywhere. I'm sure they have it somewhere else. But um, so we got we went to this uh nice. Li- it wasn't a liquor store. It was like a beer and wine store that also had a bar attached here in Austin, Texas, and they had all craft beers, mm. local craft what beers. Was some of, what were some of the flavors you got? Because they were fucking, some of them were gross. We got fried pickle beer or something? We got pickle beers, which were amazing. This, So I they forget what amazing. the brand is. I think it's Best Made, which they make pickles. This brewery in Fort Worth. This brewery. Brewery in Fort Worth does a, like, I guess did a collab. And they had spicy pickle beer, Bloody Mary pickle be- to the die. Almost like orange cider we got. We got a, 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 an orange fruit, or, no, an orange cider, a grapefruit one, a peanut butter and jelly beer. Oh, yeah. A black shirt. All the, just like fun, you know, a lot of the times they're not that great. Yeah. But it's just fun to pick out all these flavor drinks. So that, so we had all those. Have yourself a day. Yeah. And then we got a bunch of snacks. So what happens is when you get there, our tour guide, his name was Green. Like the color. Like the color. Time out really quickly. Like my favorite color. Weird guy. Gotta Weird say. Guy. Imagine, Which, imagine a cowboy had sex with a hippie. And, yes. And that's green. Yeah. Never met anybody like him in my life. Yeah, very interesting character. One of one. Yeah. 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 He was, you did, you talk about like complexity of a human being. He could have voted for Trump. Yeah. Or he could have been at the abortion rally last week. Yeah. I have no idea where this that's... guy stands. He was completely, his political affiliation was, was, ambiguous and i was here for it mm-hmm. i like that about a person i don't want to know who you are yeah. the second i meet you yeah i don't want to have a bumper sticker of your fucking political party the second i meet you mm-hmm. but a name like green you'd think this guy is going to be you know he's gonna be living in vermont mm-hmm. selling fucking organic cheese but yeah. he was a cowboy hat wearing college 
shotgun beer. Yeah. Fucking hippie. And he was an interesting guy. Interesting, mysterious guy. Mysterious. Very mysterious. Mm-hmm. Um, so for whatever reason, they, they supply the coolers and the ice. So when you get there, you give green your snacks and your drinks and he packs them away for you and then he gives them to you when you get to the river. So we get to the river. I You hate when I tell the full story. The full story is not necessary. I didn't say anything. I see you looking at me. But anyway. I'm so just we, smiling. You're cute. So we get to the river and we get – and we only get one bag. Mm. Which is interesting because we had – a lot of drinks and we had a lot of snacks and I'm like there's no way all I of- wish you would have told me definitely first I knew but you know what I figured I was like this well, is this is a nice group of people um I'm sh- we'll figure it out along the way we'll ask people here and there cuz once you get to the river everyone jumps on the tubes and they start going so it was like oh when we go by people we'll ask them if they have extra stuff that doesn't belong to them So we finally get to – there's a little break in the river. and we the halfway point. Halfway point. We all pull aside. People take out their snacks, their sandwiches, whatever. So we're like – we start asking people. We tell Green. We're like, Green, our snacks are missing. We don't have any snacks. Well, first I was asking around. Yes. If anyone had our stuff. Uh Uh-huh. Because I was confused. You said we had stuff and I'm like, and it's not here. Mm -hmm. So someone – and then then Green said – um, oh yeah, I might have just like packed them with someone else's. Which, by the way, we're talking about making things like hippie and like or not hippie. Like, the, uh, unfortunately, actions have become politicized. And if yeah. you if you do one thing, yeah, that's like a liberal move, and this is a conservative move, uh-huh. right? Yeah, I do feel like a little bit more of a scatterbrain. Hey man, it's cool. Uh huh. It's a very hippie thing to do. Yeah. And I was extremely – because he was like, hey, what? oh, yeah, that was my bad. But you did something wrong mm. and you didn't correct it. I mean he was like, oh, we'll find them. We'll find them. But he wasn't like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Everyone stop. Not, Where are their he, snacks? Yeah, he needed to do that. No. He, that was what he needed to do for me and he did not do that. <laughs> yeah, so Eric's asking around. Then Green starts asking around. I go over to this lady – and I said to the group, "Did you do you guys have any snacks that are in your bag that 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 you didn't bring? We had Doritos, we had you brought a bunch Popcorn, of shit. Popcorn, we you know. had Twizzlers. The chocolate Twizzlers, by the way, the Hershey's Twizzlers, which no one would ever have. Those so. are the best. No one, yeah, no one gets those. Only time I've yeah, have you seen have you seen those outside of my house? Never. My mom is the only I one who buys know, those. I didn't even know they existed. <laughs> so if they had those, they stole them from yeah. us. Yeah, okay. which that was like the first thing she pulled out of the bag and was like, oh, are these? And we were like, yeah, those are ours. And Doritos, then she had the Doritos. Or did she have the Doritos? She no. had something. Oh, yeah, yeah, She, yeah, she right. had something else. No, 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 no. Here's, here's. She had a couple things. Leanna's getting to, this, she, Leanna's getting to a point she's going to start putting me down any minute. This woman lied to me. <laughs> I walk over. I was calm. And I said, do you have anything that doesn't belong to you? And she said, no. So I said, I had to bite my lip, but I had a feeling – because everybody else was like a little more I – could, I could read people really well. Can I just and, say something real quick? Yeah. This woman already got on my nerves because – we were in the river and she was like by our friends for some reason, like helping our friends get b- by us, which like she didn't need the help or whatever. And she's, she asked us, oh, where we're from. I asked her where she was from. And she was like, oh, so Cal. And I was like, oh, what, like what part? And she was like, um, she said something. Or maybe she said like Los Angeles. And I was like, oh, like I lived in Los Angeles. What part? And she said, uh. She said, like, something else. She wouldn't tell me. I'm like, I lived in California. I know the towns. Like, just tell me exactly where you're from. And then she said, Ontario, which, if you know your states and your maps and your cities, you probably don't know Ontario, California. But our very good friend is from Ontario, California. So I knew Ontario. So if she would have said Ontario, California first, I would have said, oh, my God, my best friend lives there. Yeah, but it's like telling people you're from Staten Island instead of just saying New York. But I, I wouldn't say, like, I always say, like, Staten Island, New York. I don't just say New York. 
Well, they don't. I mean, I'm, I assume people don't know. But, she, but who the fuck would know what Ontario, Canada? But so like, Ontario, Cal, Canada. like she Ontario, was, California. I like kept having to ask her, but I, I said I was like I lived in California, so she like, sucked. I know. But whatever. So that was the first thing I was like, oh, this girl's annoying. Anyway. No, I walked. She she said no. Mm-hmm. She I don't have anything. And then I was just getting more and more angry because I was like, someone here is lying. Our snacks are here. No one in my group gave a fuck, which really angered me more because then it's like, here's the thing, folks. This, this is a good lesson for all of us because I was definitely being an asshole, but I'm never illogically an asshole. There's always a very good reason for my actions. I'm not yelling. I'm not bullying. I'm not saying anything crazy. I'm just like, yo, someone here, I'm saying it loud enough that everybody can hear me. Yeah, he was doing like that. Someone here has our stuff and why is no one saying anything? Uh-huh. I was ready to fucking you fight You might have anyone. even been saying like someone stole our stuff and you know, no one's owning up to it. Like he was saying, he wasn't saying it to the people but he was saying it loud enough so everyone could hear, which to me I was I was a little embarrassed about because it, it, it wasn't the greatest of behaviors, <laughs> I don't think. However, this is like, hmm, how do I how do I put this? I wish I was like a psychologist and I knew what actions were actually being done. Because I'm not saying I was correct. However, everyone in my group was enabling the incorrect behavior. Okay. I was getting – this is like a very delicate thing that happens in life when you – it's almost like what you do to children. You're blaming the child for having a – like – What's the word I'm looking for? Like it, it's it's a just feeling. Mm-hmm. Like he's this he or she as a child is feeling something, and they're they're not wrong for because it is a real reaction to something. Mm. Whereas everyone in my group was now blaming me. Now the criminal was not the actual criminal. It was me for reacting to the criminal. It's like oh my god, this guy just robbed the bank. Well, why are you screaming? Why am I screaming? This guy just robbed the bank. So everyone was getting mad at me even though I, I didn't do anything wrong. I was trying to get to the bottom of it. So Leanna being, I guess, a goody two-shoes loser, she tells Green, um, we can't find our stuff. I'm like, no, no, no. Someone fucking stole our shit. And if, yeah. and, and if, if I don't find it, I'm popping rafts. So he's like, it's all oh, it's my, it's my bad. I probably just put them somewhere. He goes over to the same girl comes back with our our food. Mm-hmm. Now I'm absolutely livid because she deliberately lied to me. Which, did she deliberately lie or did she not just check? She might have not even checked. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> if, this was, if I was a lawyer, that's enough. I can make that evidence to be like, Your Honor, guilty. Okay. So then she gives us the Twizzlers and the Doritos. And a couple other things that we had. And there's no bag of popcorn. No. She pulls out a bag of popcorn. Leanna goes, oh, I think that's ours. Oh, no, we brought these. Mm-hmm. I'm getting so angry thinking about this. Which is, okay, so me and Therese, we packed the bags. And, like, we bought a bunch of snacks, but then we left some stuff home. So I honestly didn't even really know what we packed. I had forgotten. So it was like, oh, maybe they did pack the popcorn. Like And it- stole our other shit? No. No, no, no. Well, the fact that they no. had the other stuff made the popcorn no matter what ours. That no, that see that I didn't I didn't agree with that because there should have been two bags because I was like oh no because I didn't know if we definitely packed it like I came I think home you knew, though. I came home afterwards like is it still here like maybe we did leave it behind I think she knew she I had, had it. thought we took it but I don't know it was smart food white cheddar popcorn very popular item. <sighs> So, long story short, they got hammered drunk. Leanna's screaming at me. Everyone's getting mad at me. Eric is an animal. He was making a scene. I You're didn't, a monster. I didn't want you to ruin everyone's time on the river. So, I'm getting yelled at for someone else robbing a bank, which is always, <laughs> always good behavior. And those girls, two of them lost their designer sunglasses because the river is just. Yes. <laughs> fuck them and then they were puking their guts out afterwards karma real I've never seen karma work so fast I hope they're both dead I've, <laughs> <laughs> I've really never somebody's seen somebody's gonna comment so fast. I got a comment one time because I said I hope that someone gets like killed shut the fuck up shut it's the fuck up it's a joke it's a shut joke shut the fuck up the, the fu- it's funny because it's so overtly 
an overreaction. Yeah. So shut the fuck up. Yeah. yeah I hope they're both dead. Okay? There you go. I said it. Shut the fuck up if you were offended by and that. After, I don't really hope. Just shut up. People will agree with wanting them dead because <laughs> after, when we were waiting, so we all, the river is done. Now we're waiting for our bus driver, Kia, to pick us up. Kia is missing. Green's like, Kia never goes she missing. Goes, she, he was like, yeah, this is kind of weird. She's never This is weird. She's late. never late. Something I'm must thinking, be wrong. This, I hope this girl's not dead. Yeah, we're like, oh my God, God forbid she got into a car accident. And and one of these dumb biatches is like, my phone is in there and my wallet and a picture of my kids. I'm like, I, I have pictures of my kids on my phone. I'm like, this girl might be dead. And you're worried yeah, about I, I, your I'm, cell I, phone? I, I, she's so lucky that it was a girl. Because if that was a guy doing all that shit, I would have 100% got us kicked out of there. I would have fought. It would have been a bad day. But I, well, I can't hit a woman. No, of course Because not. we have equality in this world, but not real equality. Because if that was a guy, she would have got punched in the face. And not only that, she's worried about all these meaningless items over someone's life. She was It's then- because Kia was black and she's a racist fucking piece of shit. Probably. That's why. Probably. So now do you wish she was dead too? <laughs> but she also, <laughs> remember, she was taunting us about the popcorn. They were like, oh, do you want some of your popcorn? And stuff like that. You want your popcorn back? Do you remember? Yeah. I it remember. Was, but I you mean, were, and, but Leanna looking at me like, let me see how I can blame Eric for this. No, I was just like, just keep your mouth shut. Because they were with men and not saying that these men would have beat up Eric. I don't give but a I just, fuck. I, I will die 100, 100 times on a hill for what I believe in. Get rich or die, Shine. Uh, first of all, don't get me wrong. I'm not a tough guy at all. I know who I can take. They were bigger guys. Mm-hmm. They were also extremely out of shape. And also, there was plenty of weapons by me. <laughs> if it's two against one, I'll grab a pipe. I'm very agile. I'm a very good grappler. They they would not have beat me and Joe up. They, he no, literally kept saying that too. You kept saying that like, I'm a good grappler. but Because even if a guy's bigger than you, you, ch- you can choke him out. Yeah. I do think, though, I don't even think you would need weapons. You have enough rage inside of you <laughs> that I think you could seriously hurt someone. Well, Joe Rogan disproves that he's always like, guys always say, what's, what's guy's line? I see red, bro. I just go crazy. I definitely have that. But if that guy knew jujitsu or something, he would have killed me. But these, these, yeah. are, these are fat, out of shape, like drunk guys. They were not intimidating in any way. No. They were not like no. uh, sparring partners. Yeah. They would have, it wouldn't have been anything, which I'm, I'm, I'm like a fucking loser talking about that. I'm not, I was just confident that I was also so angry, but the guys weren't behaving poorly. So I felt like it would have been a little bit of a bitch move to try and start trouble just because I want, I'd be punching him, sucked. wishing it was his girlfriend yeah, or his yeah. wife or whatever. That's sad. Which sucked. He shouldn't have to take that. The best revenge is living well. And there's no way those people are happy. And I hope they're going through a really rough time in life. <laughs> oh, my God. But, you know, all in all, the river was a great time, I have to say. The river is just. The river is just. That's it. Um. All right. I hope that you guys enjoy this app. Um, I, yeah. I hope I didn't talk about my hair too much. I, I, I don't, don't want so. it to be a big deal. I don't want it to be a big deal. I think people will like to hear the story. Let's move. Let's move on from it. Let's move on to bigger um, and better things. What else? We got West Palm this weekend. West Palm, Florida. West Palm Beach. I'm excited West to do Palm that. Beach. Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Next weekend we're gonna be in Las Vegas. Viva. We're going to the Killers concert the night before. Ooh, that'll be fun to talk about. I'm really, really. Our excited last for concert that. experience was not that great, so hopefully. This is uh, I got Leanna a Backstreet Boys t-shirt after the concert because I was, I was trying to get her a vintage one before the concert. And then I think like a day before the concert, I ordered it. I said, fuck it. This is a cool t-shirt. It came from the Ukraine. I didn't even know that they could. I mean, God bless. I, I'm praying. I'm, 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 God bless everyone in the Ukraine. I'm not making jokes about it. But I, I didn't even know that that was like – they're in a war, but they're also like just living – Lives like sending out Etsy. I don't know. Packages? I don't know what's happening, but I do know that people were buying stuff on Etsy and saying, "Don't send me the product." What do you mean? Just, Who was doing just, that? Just to give money to the Ukraine, but you actually wanted to get the product. Why would I just donate money if I wanted to donate money? 
Why would I say? Well, it's like keep it. What, what a weird way to donate money. Keep it. I would, hey, you can make what, you guys are in sales. war. You guys are in war. Okay. I like to buy a Backstreet Boys T-shirt and not get the T-shirt. So here's forty bucks. It's how the fuck is that? How I'll send them a hundred dollars if they want. They were doing that though. I don't know why they were doing it through Etsy. Maybe you couldn't make donations any other so, way. So Leanna, I, I I I do something sweet for my bride to be. I'm like, I got you a Backstreet Boys t-shirt. I was like, isn't it crazy? It came from Ukraine. Instead of saying thank you, I love it, she goes, oh, you know, some people were just buying them from the Ukraine and not getting the back. I was like, I don't even know what you're saying. I will take the t-shirt back now. And then Leanna sat on the couch, ate her dinner, and didn't try the t-shirt on. I'm like, you're the weirdest person I've ever met. If that was me, I'm trying that t-shirt on right away. Clothes. I'm excited. Oh, my God, I'm excited. Clothes, Let me try it on. Clothes aren't as important to me as they are to you. It was a gift. Was I was I was going to try it on. I was in the middle of my dinner. Mention the candle. We go to this place in Jersey. Blow it out. Because I also don't want to waste it. I want it. Oh, wow. Look at that fucking. Mm. There's a place in Jersey called, what is it called? California, California Cold, Cold Co. California Cold Co. They have all coffee drinks named after places in California. Very cute. And this candle is Fruity Pebbles. But they don't make... Can I smell it, please? Yes. California Cold Co. doesn't make this candle. Oh, they don't? No. Oh, my gosh. I told you this. Brighter Days. It's called Brighter Days Candle Co. Oh, my God. She smells... She's in New so Jersey. Her name is Diana. She's actually a fan of yours. What? I didn't even... We bought this candle, and then I was like, oh, my God. I know this girl, Diana. She actually was selling my scarves and headbands in her store for a hot minute. Um, so oh, go so support. Diana. Delicious. I mean, Fruity Pebble Candle, delicious. This is the greatest candle I've ever smelt in my I'm life. I'm pretty sure it's made with good ingredients too. So double win. It's, it, it actually smells I'm not, like Fruity Pebbles. I don't know how she does it. She's a magic maker. This is incredible. It's so good. I just wanted to mention and that as well. And it's a Woodwick, well. which is always fun. Woodwick, soy candle, Fruity Pebbles. I mean, thank you. I do not trust you with that. The You're very clumsy. The are floating on top. Um, all right, guys. We love you so much. Hope you had a good time with us. It's always nice uh, you always know, talking nice with chatting. you. Hope you enjoyed the show. Hope it's not. A, a lot of people, are, we're, we're growing. And I, I do believe in this podcast. That's a lot of fun. I like introducing you to my gal, sharing the world with you. And it's nice. We're meeting more and more people who are fans of the podcast. That's mm-hmm. really nice. We always get a couple people at shows saying they listen to the podcast, which yeah. I feel like is pretty good. We're growing, baby. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're going to be number 291 in Saudi Arabia <laughs> one day. All right. Love you guys. Love and you. And we'll talk to you soon.